Well, hello everyone, I am Fractured, and this is Let's Play Divine Divinity on the PC. And we are continuing with our quest to find the end of this never-ending story, this massive, well, they call it a sewer system, but it seems far more than that to me. So, we will continue. We Maybe we'll head over in this area, and I seem to be in some sort of castle-like area, you know, that sort of a layout, a long hallway with a bunch of rooms, and the population certainly peaked while I was here. So I think we'll continue and then head back over here. We seem to be in a section of thieves or something along those lines. We were fighting lizards for the longest time. For the longest time. <laughs> And now it's these rather unusually dressed thieves and ninja-style assassins. Although I don't, I don't think I'd fancy ninjaing around a sewer system wearing a pantsuit and cape. But hey, you know, whatever lights their candle. And actually, uh, looking at my health and my mana. I think it's time for one of these. We'll start the quest with a nap. How's that? All right. All slept up and ready to go. Okay, so we will... I don't think we've been in this particular room. Maybe not that one either. There seems to be a rather dark stripe across the middle. Although, there's probably nothing in here. I mean, I can see much of the room. I, I lied. There's a bottle of wine and a bottle of water. Alright, I don't think there's any use to that stuff, but yeah, I own it now. It's mine. Just do a save. I'm for some reason feeling a little leery. We're getting near the end of. They certainly have interesting looking weaponry. A scythe. I am Death. Honey, there's a Mr. Death here. He's come about the reaping? Okay. I don't know. We're just. Continue the slow and deliberate search. Ow, that has got to hurt. Well, the death part particularly, but just falling backwards on your own knees like that can't, can't be good for you. Mm, well, considering the build-up, we seem to be without much fanfare. I think we're at the end of that. Unfortunately, this hallway continues. So it looks like this is going to be one big solid system that we're exploring. Uh, I can't complain too much. Th these particular guys are fairly easy. Even in groups, because they're not throwing fireballs at me. Although that guy was, I think, trying to poison me or something. Yeah, some kind of poison dealy going on there. But look at our experience. It's definitely going up. So it's, it's not like this is happening for no particular reason. Um, I think, yeah, let's just chow down like that for now in terms of health. Yeah, and it goes up there too. Well, I don't know who built this. Could you imagine spending your life building something so amazing and then they tell you, you know, after you're done. So what's what's it all for? Oh, it's sewage. Well, couldn't we have just built like 
plain tunnel? Well, yeah, we could have, but you never asked. These are awfully rich sewer dwellers, too. They're all carrying a couple of hundred gold. Oh, we found a, a real room here. Royal chain. Sounds impressive, but it's doesn't have any sort of parameters, so. Ooh, that may be worth the trouble. That was a uh, ID level five. Uh, this might be good too. It, well, wreck claymore, no, maybe not. I suppose, well, I don't have a lot in my inventory. I'll just make it the first thing I throw in the garbage. Worn wood cutter I'll have sack. to drop something. I'm carrying too much. Yeah, right. Well, I thought, well, whatever. Let's get rid of that. Worn wood cutter's axe. Most of the stuff I'm currying, currying now? Yeah, most of the stuff I'm currying now is really good on, ooh, female assassin. She's kick ass, and she kicked my ass. Thank you, ma'am. May I have another? Well, let's see if I get the same or different equipment this time. Uh, barrel. Oh, there's my something I missed last time. A loaf of bread, yeah, and I think I filled up on roasts, didn't I? Yeah, I'm stuffed. So there's somebody hanging around back there. May as well go around the corner and deal with them. There he is. Oh, and he seems to be stuck. Okay, well, he stays. Pretty sure I didn't kill that guy. So close, I was trying to push my luck. You know, that's the first time I noticed that's actually got a, like a little holy symbol. Well, it's an Ankh type symbol when you cast heal. I did notice one of the other spells had a pretty impressive, like, skull motif thing going on there. I think she slowed me down somehow. Worn large shield? Uh, I think we'll hold off. Oh, uh, yeah, that's too bad. The last time I was in here, that was a ID'd shield, the level 5 ID. So I did lose out. Cracked Bardash. Same thing in that one. Yeah. Destroyed. How do you pronounce that? That's called a Bardish. Something along those lines. Oh, good. A oh, conventional rogue, but yeah, he's a tougher, fat fight. Super healing, yeah, I'll take that. Well crafted longbow. Oh, and I forgot to start my timer again. I hate when I do that which pretty much is just about every time. But I'll tell you what, I'll start it now and we'll go for 15 more minutes. That might get us our level up too, at the speed of things. Ooh, big barrel of poison. Uh-oh. 
Okay, well that took uh, a couple of quick heals, didn't it? I wonder if I could... I, I don't know if there's a use for that. But now I'm curious. I'll have to drop something. I'm carrying too much. <laughs> okay, that's just a little on the silly side. Okay, well let's go and put it in my warehouse. Because like, oh, and he still moves around pretty good, considering he's got a, a huge barrel of poison in his uh, inventory. Oh, that was bad. Safety tip, guys. <laughs> okay, I gotta reload. Uh, that was worth it, though. That was amusing. So when you're unloading barrels, large barrels of poison from your inventory, don't throw them across the room. Is that what we learned from that? Yeah, getting it from both ends, so to speak. Now, I don't want to crazy here, because last time I wandered up here it's like ten of these guys showed up. Okay, well, thanks for not dropping anything. Some loot would be nice. And let's use up another one of our mana potions. One of the things that's going on in here, of course, with us spending so much time in the sewer system. We haven't spotted any mushrooms. And mushrooms mean potions. And potions mean, well, not dying immediately. Although all that time making those health potions, I'm, I'm starting to think probably... <coughs> For the cost, well, maybe it's about a, a wash. I, I'm thinking the cost of making mana potions. Uh, oh, hello. Where the wooden teeth talk and the small folk reign. Well, the wooden teeth, that could be anything. That could be like a piano, even. Um, but the small folk reign, of course, is the dwarven area. So they're saying, I don't know what the curved line represents, and I can't read Dwarven. Huh? Maybe I can. Of the party? That, that might just be a random chance, but let's, I think, to keep these, you have to actually, yeah, not like that, drag it into your inventory. It won't let you pick it up because it tries to read it. That's interesting. Ah, hello. Treasure map. I have heard of a strange map divided into several parts that are spread out all over the world. I'm as curious as to where it would lead me. If I could find all the parts of it, that is. Okay, well, we found one part. That stuff, that just garbage, it's not highlighting. Huh. Alright, well. Just seemed out of place. Ah, oh, we're very close to a level now, too.
wonder who did the voiceover work for all these guys. I wonder what the contract looked like. You must say arg and ouch and ugh 50 different ways. Hello. That's interesting. But he's, no, he's not a highlightable one. Just a dead guy. You know what this is very much reminding me of? Um, yeah, I think you'd have to be fairly old to remember Rogue, especially in its original incarnation. Yes. Ah, there we are. Just got to level up. Rogue was a DOS base. It probably started out in Unix, I would think. But it's, and you can still get it. It's text graphics, although you can buy like patches for it where it turns the text graphics and I mean character graphics, like it used the at symbol and the ampersand and plus sign and stuff like that for all the stuff. Generated the bulk of the mazes uh, as you walked into the maze it would generate it, although there were areas that were predefined and they would show up and there actually was kind of a plot and it's grown over time and become a pretty incredible game and uh, what's the I saw some let's plays of a almost I don't know it very much oh, it's another female assassin here very much roguelike game Dwarf Fortress yeah if you've seen Dwarf Fortress there then you, that's essentially a super version of Rogue but Rogue came out oh boy it uh probably started coming out with computers so you you know late 70s I imagine it started showing up on Unix mainframes it certainly has that kind of feel to it and then of course it's just being developed it's the you can get the software online it compiles in C and you can just do whatever you want with it but considering it's like the original rogue game was maybe 60 or 70k compiled 60 or 70k not 60 or 70 meg it it was really involved and had a really in-depth plot and everything like that because of course it didn't have to deal with huge graphic files and huge mu music files and oh yeah let's put some more thought into this let's get off the whole rogue discussion for a moment and I think we'll just do the same thing again. That's strange. Those weren't what I left them as. I wonder why they've changed. Anyway, we will go again. Two, two, and one. With the same logic as last time. Both of these seem fairly useful at the moment. And I don't know enough about the game. And I don't intend to go and look it up to find what the maxes on these are. I'm sure for certain types of equipment, you know, oh, you should have 78 strength and 69 agility and that's a, I'm not going to bother looking for that kind of stuff. And then skills. What level are we, by the way? We are level 23. So some of these skills are still unavailable to us. Might be worth holding off on using a skill point, but, you know, I really don't think so. That's interesting. What is that? Heaven's gift. Gift from the heavens that will help you on your quest. Create a low quality item. Oh, you can probably, with each additional point, you create a better and better item. Okay, anyway. And we're going to go in here and... Oop, there, I just got a beep for something, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see, what were we going to do? We were going to decide where I was going to place this skill point. Well, at the moment, Augment Defense still looks pretty promising. I'm trapped out of these because of level 25 requirements. Stun? Tempting still. And I can't put one in Shield until 25, and this is the only other promising option. I think we're going to ha! Augment Defense. Because just overall Surviving longer is nice. Do I have... Let's have a bit of bread. So looking at the map, we've 
cleaned out another huge area. This is me right here. But I think we've got another good chunk to go, and I don't think we'll get it done. Yes, I think before I leave, I suppose it may be worthwhile to come down here. It looks like somehow I can get across into this whole area anyway, and maybe up in here. I, I think they pretty much filled out this whole map by the looks of things. Mm, I see one easy way in. Well, what appears to be an easy way in is up here. Looks like I can cut across. Yeah. And I'm still sort of bothered by the whole lizard transporter. I don't know if you guys saw that video a couple of videos ago. I found a lizard transporter pad down here which should be really nice, but the transporter pads, you actually have to get paperwork to get them to work. And I don't think the lizards will be too forthcoming in handing that to me now, considering I slaughtered them all. Well, tomatoes, apples, oranges. Yeah, chow down on a sewer tomato. I'm Getting right on that. <laughs> Certainly seems to be attracting a lot of attention again. I think I'll just go through my mana. some health. Now I'm watching the clock closely at the moment because I do actually have some food on the stove. That was what the beeping was. The stove being ready at last. So I think, ooh, some cages. There's with big, big thigh bone there. That was one big dude. We may be coming up to another area of interest, but you know, given the time, I think I'm going to say, I thank you for watching and I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to give me the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.